Yo, what's going on guys? I'm actually in the process currently of reviewing slash removing the white the white stone glass per tempered glass protector for the S10 Plus. And as you can see, I have this whole like blotch, there we go, like whole screen left on it. Um it's being a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. I watched videos obviously before how to remove it properly and also I read the instructions and it didn't work. Given my glass was like slightly cracked on one corner here, here, nothing on top. I removed it from the edges and it broke off into these small little chunks. So now I'm uh, picking at it with my nail. So that's part of my review on it. It's kind of shitty to take off if it's slightly cracked. It kind of just comes off in these little ass pieces. Every time I'm peeling it, it comes off and like, can't even focus, but these little ass shards, I've already cut my nail from the inside and shit. So there's that. But the actual screen itself, I mean, it's protected. It did its job. Although I'll give it this, the screen protector didn't, didn't last that much. Like in the month and a half I've been, I installed this protector and I've had it, I probably dropped it on a gravel surface. So given it had like rocks and all that stuff, that's probably why it broke, but it maybe fell from a distance of like, maybe like a foot drop. It was in my car. Like right when you, you know, when you leave your phone in your lap and you get out of the car and you're like, oh fuck my phone. Well, that's exactly what happened to me. Just it, it fell on gravel and it cracked it, but nothing happened to the phone. So, I mean, it did its job. I think I'm finally making some progress. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, bitch. Oh my God. Okay, so this, excuse me. Okay, this is supposed to be how it's supposed to come off the first time, not not the fucking shards that came off initially. So it's done. See that UV light? It's probably not good. Give you some cancer or something. I'm gonna look directly at it. Why not? Uh, JK, they say this is like completely safe for people. But now it's a little dirty because I just touched it and shit, but like, look at that beautiful reflection. Like this is, in all honesty, like an A1 screen, it's like one of the best ones I've used. Yes, the price is a little high for them because it's a white dome stuff, but like it just feels nice. You don't feel any ridges at the edge of the screen here. Like you can feel a little bit, but it doesn't bother you. The screen feels just as good as the S screen, uh, as the S10 screen does like naturally. And I, I fucking love the S10 plus screen. Like it's, crisp it's clean it's super smooth to the touch and it sucks that i have to put a screen protector on it but shit happens in life and i don't want to break this phone because it was expensive all right guys so for the white dome screen protector my final thoughts on it uh the thing itself isn't very scratch resistant uh, although it says it is uh, i don't carry anything in my pockets besides my phone maybe my stizzy my keys normally stay attached to uh, my belt loop with that little like climbers clip people use i use that shit i don't like keys in my pocket i don't like anything in my pocket besides my phone and maybe my wallet uh but regardless there's nothing that could scratch up the protector itself but regardless in my experience i did receive a lot of scratches on that protector itself again the cracks that i got were from dropping on the gravel so that's expected rocks hit it broke it obviously it chipped off but my phone was protected nonetheless although i came through these setbacks and even the peeling off was a bitch and I cut my fingernail, which I mean, it wasn't that great, but like just suck, you know, like it should have happened. Should have been an easy peel, but whatever. Nonetheless, my phone's protected. It's not broken. I installed a new one and it looks crispy clean, super smooth, works okay with the fingerprint reader. Sometimes it's a hit or miss, but that's everybody's own opinion as well. But I would highly recommend this product to anybody's phone that's capable of getting a white dome. 
uh, yeah, I mean, protect your phone, guys. No one wants a broken screen. Helps for the resale value and trade-ins if you're into that. But catch you guys on the next one.